What's up my friends and welcome back to another video. This is the opening shot to, well I think the title is going to be something like, I just camped overnight in my van in picturesque New Zealand or something along those lines. There's going to be absolutely no clip bait, that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's been an idea that I've had in my head for about a week and when there's, when there's an idea in my head, um, doesn't matter what it is, if it's not going away, it's, it's, you know, it goes back to the old analogy, the squeaky wheel gets the oil, and, and this idea is the squeaky, the squeaky wheel at the moment, in my head, as the cogs turn. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm sitting here at my uh, computer desk, as you can see, we've, we've changed this, um, this room around quite a, quite a bit. I'm actually in the process of uh, decluttering my life, as far as materialistic possessions, material possessions. You know, it's, it's, it's that time of year, I am about to endeavour onto my next uh, stage of life as far as geographically I'm moving uh, again so I've spent the best part of the last two years here in Christchurch having spent nine years in Alice Springs Australia and uh, I am going to travel back to Australia briefly to see my kids and then we'll be on to uh, the next mission from there. Anyways guys, that's a bit of an intro for anyone is, who is here for the first time. My name's Jacob McDonald. Um, for anyone who's who's returning, thank you for your support over the years. Today's video, it's going to cover me from 5.38pm on Monday the 27th of December and we're going to probably finish this in around about 18 hours. You know, I'll say probably about 10 or 11am tomorrow. Because what I'm going what I'm going to do is, um, as I referred to at the start, I'm going to pack my van and we're going to take off up the hill and stay overnight in my van in an absolutely incredible spot. That I've taken a few of my friends who've come to Christchurch for the first time um, there before, and uh, you know, on on a nice summer's morning, even on a nice crisp winter's morning, as long as there's not too much cloud, the views are absolutely incredible. The spot is called the sign of the bellbird it's right up on top of the port hills right up on the summit so you can actually see you know either side and um, the spot is right at the back of Littleton Harbour which is the place and the area that I grew up in so it means a lot to me this is the first of hopefully a few videos about camping overnight in my van before I go to Australia and and move on with my life I don't know when I'll be back in Christchurch. Um, I want to make the most of these last couple of weeks. And so it starts today. Anyways, that's enough from me. I'm going to get the van ready.
That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. I got that on camera, right? Fuck no, didn't realize I was that tall. Um, I just want to mention one thing, you know. This overnight trip may only be 18 hours long, but doing this little bit of preparation is certainly gonna set myself up mentally for a, a much more enjoyable time. Now that might be just my OCD type of personality, but if I didn't clean this before going, my mind wouldn't be clean and we wouldn't be having a good time. And you'd probably never see this video, so we'd better continue. That is all we need. Now we do have a, a cold front coming over Christchurch. It's been a, a pretty, well, pretty damn hot actually. The, the whole summer's been, been um, rather hot, but today I will say that this is probably perfect weather to go camping, although we're not gonna have the sights that we may have on a nice crystal clear blue night. But here's hoping for the morning. Let's see what the sunset does. Red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. So I'm hoping we do see some, some orange and red and... I don't know what we're gonna see. We've gotta get up there though, that's the main thing. So anyway, van is sorted. We've got drinks on board. We've got no ice yet. So on the way we'll stop off at the supermarket, get some things. But yeah, that's it. That's all we need from home. Let's go. What's up guys? False alarm. Uh, well, false alarm, complete and utter lie. I'm not sure what you want to call it, but basically I came inside and I realized that I had two kilos of chicken drumsticks that were about to go off. So I've decided to chuck them in the oven. I'm going to put half in the fridge. I'm going to take half with me and we're going to put them on ice so I can eat them nice and uh, fresh, freshly, freshly cooked, freshly cooled. Um, ready to eat. So we'll take a kg of chicken drumsticks with me and as well as that we'll get some snacks from the good old supermarket. Let's have a wee look shall we? They look pretty decent. Although nowhere near done in my opinion. Now now some may say, some may say that these actually look ready and, and you know, I guess they are. But uh, in my kitchen Unless they're almost burnt to a crisp, they ain't ready. So I reckon we've got 20 minutes at 6.12. I want to be up there by, you know, 7.30 at the latest for no real reason. I mean, we are in summer in New Zealand at the moment and I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't get dark tonight until, you know, 9.45 or something insane like that. So yeah, that's why I'm in absolutely no rush to get up there. Middle of winter, it'll be pitch black by now. But I'm sure there's plenty of places around the world that have, you know, swings in, um, in, in daylight like that. But in saying that, New Zealand is pretty damn close to Antarctica, pretty damn, you know, low on the globe. And so we've got really big sways 
Um, anyway, random fact for you. You probably knew that already. Peace. Yeah, right, so on second thought, I reckon we've probably got enough food to take with me. Um, which means that I'll just need to pick up a bag of ice from somewhere. So we've got the chicken. I'm going to take uh, some yogurt. We've got... Well, actually, I'll get it all... I'll put it all on the bench and I'll, I'll give you a quick look. Because nutrition is key, guys. Nutrition is key. Especially, I mean... It... Well, they must be done. Let's have a look. Ooh. Yeah, not quite. And here we have the smorgasbord, that is. Some high protein yogurt. Probably about a third of a tub. We've got three small three small tins of tuna. Uh, one big one. We've got a tin of halved apricots and syrup. A tin of sliced pineapple in juice and another tin of sliced pineapple again in juice um we've got uh, one of two christmas presents that i received this year this one was from my dad actually uh, it's about half gone but we will take it and then obviously last but not least uh the chicken so i reckon i've i've talked for far too long i've taken up far too much of your time we haven't even got on the road yet that's what happens guys that's what happens in my videos so i you know hopefully if i do this type of content more often i can streamline the process anyways guys i'll see you on the road right so we're finally on the road it's about 7 20 in the pm i've just picked up my bag of ice i've got myself a nice can of uh, vanilla coke which i'm going to enjoy on the top of the mountain there's a little bit of rain as as was expected i did know that was coming but all i can hope for is a clear morning so we can see all the way down the harbour it's absolutely beautiful you know that's why i'm doing this i reckon you know all jokes aside if i've got three goals throughout this night up on the mountain in my van by myself you know with with nothing but well i'm, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna have my phone with me which is gonna really help with entertainment but i do have a pad and a pen and uh, i've got my mind you know what i mean and and so, I've got three goals, I'd say. The first would be to write a gratitude journal tomorrow morning, first thing. The second would be to get a workout in, in the morning, uh, second thing. And, um, and the third would be to feel connected to nature and to earth. Because at the end of the day, we are indeed a speck a speck like a grain of sand on the longest largest beach you've ever seen in your entire life we are less than that um, on this world as as an individual as a human being uh, but we are a part of it and so I guess my third and final goal would be to feel just that little bit more connected to uh, my surroundings and appreciative of my surroundings and and that's no joke so I'll see you guys at the top all right, so we're probably about halfway up the hill. Not sure if, yeah, you can't really see too much out there, but that would be Christchurch, if you could see. But what you can see on our left is a pretty mean um, castle, which is about halfway up. So this is called the sign of the Taka, uh, the sign of the Takahe. Takahe. Takahe? Takahe. Couldn't be quite sure. But it is a bird, and so is a bellbird and uh, actually on the way come to think of it when we do get to the top we first reach the sign of the kiwi fuck that looks like an amazing house that would be well into the million dollar mark 1.5 easy 2 million up here anyways so yeah we first we've 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 gone past sign of the takahe secondly we go past sign of the kiwi and thirdly and finally we come to the sign of the bellbird. So yeah, let's keep going. So this is what we're working with as far as road type and style. It's pretty windy up here, but you know, not too bad. And so we're almost at the top. 
where we will come across the sign of the Kiwi. But if we do look out that way, I mean, no, nah, you can't really see too much, sadly. So that building up there, I'm not sure if you can see it, but that's the sign of the Kiwi. And I think, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there's a lookout and possibly a shop, maybe even a restaurant. But yeah, so that is where we turn. We're gonna turn right, and so we've made it to the summit, as you can see, where it drops off onto the other side. So you can either go the, down that way into Christchurch, or you can go down that way um, into a place called Governor's Bay. But what we're gonna do is continue along the top of, this, top of the summit, along the top, the top of the Port Hills, and stop at a place called the Sign of the Bellbird. Now, the Sign of the Bellbird is actually a monument on the Christchurch side of the hill but where we're gonna stay is in a little verge on the harbour side of the hill which gives us an incredible view down the harbour so you've got the best of both worlds you've got Banks Peninsula and you've also got you know uh, Christchurch what that holds which is a lot of history I mean as far as a country as in New Zealand being you know extremely young as far as immigrants coming over um, Christchurch has a lot of history a lot of buildings built between 1850 and like 1900 um, were still standing until the earthquakes that happened so a lot of, a lot of them actually came down or, or partially came down which meant the whole thing had to come down and so you know that was pretty tragic but uh, if we yeah I might just might just stop here there's a wee grass verge let's just have a look at the left hand side so this is the harbour side and oh yes I'll get out I've got to get out for this that's what we're looking like I mean honestly when it's when it's sunny it's just absolutely incredible up here but this is um this is the the littleton harbor and the whole entire you know landscape is part of uh, what's called banks peninsula so littleton if i can zoom in which i will littleton is all the way down there where you can see some cranes on a wharf and there's some houses on the hill and and all that yep that right there and the Littleton rugby ground is right there actually believe it or not right next to the sea anyways that is Littleton this is the Littleton Harbour and we are standing almost at the end of it that is Quail Island which is smack bang in the middle and this is basically where it finishes up so I mean it's it is a pretty incredible place and you know uh, well <laughs> that's a bit close for comfort um, the older I get you know the more I, I'm realizing how lucky I was to grow up in a place like this and and you know trying trying it's not easy man you say you want to do something but your brain is your brain so you know I'm trying to feel more connected I'm trying to live in the moment rather than worry about what's happened in the past or what might happen in the future Anyways guys, this is why I'm doing it, to get out, get out and about, make the most of, of this place that I've called, you know, I've been so um, lucky to call home. No place like home guys, I'll tell you that much. Alright, so I've just pulled up, I'm probably like literally two minutes away, but if you can just see the structure on the side of the hill, well that's my windscreen, but hopefully it's going to focus eventually no really Jeepers. oh no there we go boom there she is so we're gonna we're gonna drive just around the corner there park up here come along to the side of the hill and come down the track and and check that out
and we're off. Right guys, we've made it. There she is in all her glory, Littleton Harbour. Um, looks as if we've uh, got some, some visitors actually, which is no issue, but I doubt whether they'll be sleeping here, which is what I'm going to do. So, I'm just going to chill, enjoy this, and I'll be back with you shortly. Yeah, she's not half bad. What have I done? Not half bad at all. So, this is actually called Otatahi Reserve or Ota, Otatuhu or something something along those lines. Um, which is basically a parking bay, a car park, uh, on the side of the road. Now that is a track that goes along the summit and that's the same track that goes along the summit the other way so I'm pretty you know I'm fairly certain that tomorrow morning uh, we'll get up nice and early crack a, a, a white monster get that down and get in, get into a, a, a bit of a workout and then into a walk along the summit And this, my friends, is the sign of the bellbird, which is just on the Christchurch side of the Port Hills. And um, look, I couldn't tell you exactly what this is, or when it was built, or what it was built for, but uh, it looks pretty damn old. And if we can. I mean, we can't see much as far as the scene, the scenery, but if we can frame the scene in here, uh, it, it can look pretty, pretty cool. Something like that. Boom. Hopefully in the morning we can see a bit more, but you get my drift. Pretty cool. Jeez, it's bright actually. The light's like condensed and it becomes extremely bright. But, um, you know, this is, <laughs> I'm not gonna camp in here, but I mean, you could. Could be haunted though. I reckon this would be as good of a time as any, once again all jokes aside, to um, as long as no one's going to bust me, practice meditation. Nick Minute. <sighs> Bloody brilliant, I tell you. Bloody brilliant. <laughs> Alright, back to the car. Alright, my friends, and just like that, we've got the car park to ourselves, so. I reckon the way we're going to do this 
is back it up. Let's go. Let's turn around, 180, and back it right up to the side and open up the back door. And have this as our view. Oh, I tell you what, mate, this is exactly the reason why I was doing this. Now, let me get as close as I can to the side. I'm going to use the... Let's go. That's close enough. We're going to experience this together. Because I've been thinking about doing this for a long time. With this van. But I never have. And actually I've just seen that they've, um, they've got a little reserve here. Take that path all the way down there. And they've just mowed it. So that's, that's handy. That's handy, isn't it, guys? Anyways, back to the van. I'm gonna have to do a bit of a bit of Tetris um, to work all this out. But well, actually, we can probably we can put this outside. So the chili bin there. That can be a nice way. Nice wee step to get into the back of this, ah, which we will do. Oh no! Oh no! We've lost. We've lost the wind sock. Can't have that. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh man! <laughs> it actually took. It, it took a couple of, you would have seen it on my face, it, it took a couple of seconds for me to actually realise what I'm looking at. You know, how did I get here? I just jumped in the back of my van, turned around, and this is what greets me? Okay. Wow. Just amazing. Just incredible. Look at that. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about, guys. That's why we did it, that's why we're here. For this exact view. <sighs> or at least that's why I'm here. So this is me. For the night. Um, I think I'll be fine. <laughs> I think I'll be fine. I don't, I don't actually know if it's legal for me to sleep here. But um, I'm going to risk it. I mean, well, what's the worst that can happen? I live about 20 minutes away. So if someone comes up, says I'm not allowed, that's absolutely fine. We'll work it out. But that, guys, that's just, that's something else. And that's my hometown, Littleton. So, what I'm going to do, I actually just thought about this. I'm going to grab my DSLR camera and put my long range lens, which I haven't used in a good three years so I don't know about tonight we might wait till the morning but I reckon if I put this on that we we could get some something special or at least we could get some real detail like down on Quail Island or something like that anyways I'm, um, I think I'm, I'm getting excited I'm feeling like a kid I'm feeling like a kid I'm feeling connected <sighs> Nothing wrong with a bit of childlike energy, guys. Alright, my friends. It's just coming up. Just coming up. 8.57. On Monday the 27th. And this is how I'm spending mine. I hope you're having a fantastic one of your own. And uh, it's getting cold. <laughs> Honestly, it's getting really cold. After a... Oh, quite a... A hot last three days in Christchurch reaching you know 28 30 degrees or something like that today has turned pretty shit anyways guys what I'm gonna do is prop myself up oh, okay time to enjoy that chicken that I cooked earlier Oh man, I can't wait for this. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, boy. Mm. Not as good as straight out of the other, no, I'll admit, but it will uh, more than suffice. Mm. This is what people do, right? When, um, because I must admit, I mean, this, this idea of doing overnight videos in a van hasn't just completely come out of nowhere. It's because I do enjoy watching these overnight solo, you know, camping in snow or um, up a mountain or even in the car park of Walmart. I really enjoy that type of content at the moment. So I want to try and make it myself. And, um, you know, I always see them. Obviously, they've got a, a cooker, some sort of cooker, which I could have bought with me, actually. And I probably will next time. But I forgot it. Um, which means that I can't make coffee in the morning. But that's why I bought the Monster. Calculated decisions. Um, I'm starving. I'm actually really hungry, eh? What else can I say? These other guys that make this type of video always show, like, at least making one meal. And, um, I guess that's, that's where we're at, guys. I wish you could all be here with me. In fact, do I? I'm not sure. But what I do wish is that I was a little more grateful for it, you know? One of the next videos I'm planning on making is going out, similar situation to this, camping at the base of a massive mountain and going hiking first thing in the morning. I'm taking the camera along and making a video out of it. I mean, look, if I have to come to terms with the fact that unless I'm bringing a camera along with me, I'm probably not going to be willing to go out and do that, then so be it. Doing it, experiencing these things, is better, you know, even if you think that it's just for YouTube at times, which it's not, but it is, it does feel like that at times. Even that is going to be better than never doing it at all. So, yeah, that's the plan. And it could well happen tomorrow night. Anyways, guys, that's enough from me. Not exactly sure of the um, the plan for tonight, but I do have a fully charged phone, and like I said before, that's gonna cure my boredom. Not that this is boring, but you know what I mean, guys. We're in 2021, nearly 2022. It is what it is. We're ruled by technology, and we are fueled by technology at times. These are fucking good, eh? Yum, yum, yum. This was a great idea. Alright guys, and uh, with the power of uh, YouTube, we're back. But this time, using my DSLR camera. So, I've put my very expensive, very underused lens on my camera, and we're gonna, we're gonna zoom her in and just, just see what happens. Now this is called Quail Island. See, that's what happened. I don't know why this lens does this. It's one of the main reasons why I don't use it, because I, I mean, I probably could look up how to fix it and what's, what's happening, but if anyone does know, it just, I don't know if it's overexposure or what, but it uh, all of a sudden goes black and then slowly fades back into, into normal color. But anyways, guys, um, Let's keep going. It's not over. Well, it's over now. So that's Quail Island, and I could actually catch a ferry from down there in Littleton. Looks like they've just turned on the, the lights on the wharf. Which is... That's pretty, isn't it, guys? Anyways, you catch a ferry from Littleton over to Quail Island. So I could do that, take the camera, and go exploring. That'd be fun. Right, my friends, this will be the final clip of the night. It's, uh, it's about five minutes away from ten. And Littleton Harbour looks absolutely stunning. Let's see if we can zoom in.
Here she is. That's not me doing that. <laughs> That's the autofocus. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure, and I will see you in the morning. guys it's uh, it's officially 8 8 a.m. and uh, look well if you thought it was cloudy last night uh, I can't see a single thing I cannot see probably any further than a hundred meters in front of me it's foggy as it's a whiteout but it was a pretty incredible night and I want to say thank you for being there with me so Anyway, um, there is one thing that needs to be done, and that's take in some caffeine. So that's what I'm about to do in the form of a monster. Uh, it's ice cold, and um, I'd, I'd say the temperature's probably, I wouldn't say it's any more than about 12, 13 degrees, which is fresh. I'm not gonna lie. It's 12 degrees here in Christchurch. So, what am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna sit here for about 20 minutes, charge my phone, watch a YouTube video, put my headphones on, finish this, grab this, put my shoes on, lock my van up, grab my other camera, and then we're going for a walk. So I'll see you there. you up. Take that. And we are officially good to go. I don't know if you can see, but slowly but surely the clouds dissipating behind me. And it looks, I think there's one patch, one patch of blue sky up there. Not sure if you can, yeah, there she is. And uh, look, if, I, if we go for this walk, go along the summit, see what happens with the cloud. We might get back and we might actually be able to see this whole thing in all its glory. I doubt it because it's meant to rain all day today. 
well, off and on, but um, hey, only time will tell. I mean, it's not the ideal weather, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be pretty wet underfoot, pretty slippery, but uh, as long as I take my time, I wanna get 10,000 steps by the time we get back here. So it's probably gonna be about, I don't know, half an hour, maybe 40 minutes that way, 40 minutes back. And uh, well, let's go. Actually, that makes sense. So when we when we turned at the top of the hill to come along towards where we are now, uh, that was called the sign of the Kiwi. So, so effectively, if we carry along this path, which runs along the top of the crater, for four and a half kilometres, we should make it all the way to the sign of the Kiwi. So I reckon that would... Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Let's do that. Let's go all the way to the sign of the Kiwi and back. Keen? All right then, let's go. See this my friends, is volcanic rock and um, that ties into the fact that we are indeed walking along the top of a crater of um, an inactive volcano which is basically what makes up this harbour basin. So there's a lot of history to Banks Peninsula, a lot of really interesting history and you'll find deposits of uh, red volcanic rock a lot of places and if it's not in the ground it could well be in the bricks because they utilized a lot of it for building materials I think anyways <coughs> Put that there. Okay, so I've decided I'm, I'm going to listen to an episode of uh, Joe Rogan. I'm going to put that on right now. And I am going to put my camera in my pocket and uh, head along my merry way. So, peace guys, I'll see you at the sign of the Kiwi. Next minute. Alright, you know what guys? You know what? I have absolutely no idea why I'm troubling myself with the mission of trying to carry a big bottle of water and also a vlog camera when I've got a perfectly good camera on my phone. In fact, this is a much better picture than I could have ever got from this. So I'm going to turn right back around. I'm going to put my camera in my car and if I do want to vlog anything along this trail, I'm going to do it on my phone and I reckon we might be using the phone. A little bit more often because this picture is, is fairly good especially for a, a front-facing camera bloody good mate what am I doing right <clears throat> let's try that again put that there all right guys so I severely underestimated the thickness and the waterproofness of my shoes. Uh, my shoes are yeah, pretty much completely soaked. My socks are too. And it doesn't feel too nice. You know, I pushed on for about half an hour, but I reckon I'm gonna head back. 
And actually, come to think of it, guys, Crater Rim is actually the name of a uh, an ultra marathon that they run along this very track. And I was just thinking, 84 or whatever it is, 82, 84 kilometers worth of ultra marathon running along a track like this? I don't know, man. That's a bit dicey. Anyways, I reckon I'm going to head back. <clears throat> it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, I'll check in with you guys prior to heading back down the the road. I'm going to head to the gym with some dry shoes, dry socks, and uh, move on with my life. <laughs> Thanks, guys. These are the culprits. Banished. Okay, so um, can turn that. Oh, I can turn it around on the go. Okay, this gets better and better. Not gonna lie. Like this setup. Oh my gosh. Why didn't I do this earlier? Hello again. Okay, sweet. So what we're gonna do is uh, head back down that trail and just spend a little bit of time at that monument at the at the actual sign of the bellbird uh, because it's peaceful it's absolutely beautiful up here even though i cannot see a single thing so the fogs come back in clearly but uh it is what it is so i'll see you down there Right guys, I'm just sitting here for a few minutes, just taking taking it in before I head down into Christchurch once more. Um, thanks for watching, this is going to be the final clip of the video. I had a fantastic sleep, I was going to get up at about 6, um, but I was so you know nice and comfortable and cosy in my little cocoon there, and it was raining outside and you know it was pitch like, pitch white, is that even a thing? Um, it, it's a wide out, but um, yeah, I just wanted to say thanks once again for coming along for the night. We will do this again. I'm not sure where. I'm not sure when. Will it be in 2021 or 2022? Well, I'm not sure. But anyways, as always, much love. Thanks for watching. That's enough from me. Peace out from Christchurch, New Zealand.